Hello and welcome to the GTA 5 show. I'm your host, Ollie 43 and welcome to your daily dose of GTA 5 awesomeness up until the release of the game. And guys, we're getting pretty close to GTA 5. We're still waiting for the GTA 5 multiplayer and it should be this month. So I thought it'd be really cool if you guys have got a guess on what the whole GTA 5 multiplayer is going to be. Are you going to have your own money? Is it going to be separated between everyone else? Is it going to be a mega server? Is it going to be shared servers, private servers? Is it going to be just standard team deathmatch kind of scenario? Is it going to be who can build the best empire? Who's going to have the most money? What is the deal? What is it going to be about? We really don't know at this point in time. So put your guesses in the comment section below because it's going to, one, it's going to be hilarious when we actually find out the multiplayer reveal and we'll be able to look at all your guys' random guesses and shenanigans down in the comment section below. It's just funny and good entertainment. And also, if you get it right, I'll give you a shout out when the information comes out. So... You should go ahead and do that because you get a shout out and that'd be cool. So yeah, I'm going to begin today, talk about my last video, which is all about GTA 5 and what could go wrong. So I came up with a few ideas, things like driving mechanics, things like that. And you guys kind of agreed, to be honest. Like a lot of people said they don't like the movements and combat systems of previous Rockstar games. Like they don't like the movement of Red Dead Redemption, which I don't really agree with. And then there's the combat system in GTA 4, which again, I kind of don't agree with. Maybe I'm just like an oddball in this kind of whole Rockstar cult. I mean, I was happy with both those things, but the general consensus was you don't want the driving to be bad. Like that was the main thing. But one of the things that made me go, no, <laughs> I don't want that. Like, this is probably one of the bigger things is I really, really hope Rockstar don't kill Chop. If you don't know who Chop is, he's the best character in GTA 5. He is the dog of Franklin, Franklin's dog, as far as we know anyway. And if Rockstar kill him, things are going to get pretty depressed. And Rockstar, they're going to be in trouble. They're going to be in some freaking trouble because I do not want to see that. I don't want to get attached to Chop. I'm already attached. I don't want to get attached to him and just get him killed. That is not cool. Like Everyone loves a freaking dog, you know. I, you know, it wouldn't be that depressing, but he you know, is a dog. I'd much rather, like, Franklin died or Trevor or Michael. You know, even even the um, even one of his daughters, much rather. <laughs> dog school always come first. But someone did have a really cool idea involving Chop, and it was one of those kind of Easter egg kind of ideas. And the idea was, at the end of the game, imagine if Chop goes randomly missing, okay? Chop goes missing, and your job as an Easter egg thing is to hunt down, search the whole map, high and low, deep. Maybe he's got a scuba suit as well. Um, everywhere, every cubby hole, every secret cave, and find Chop, because he's gone missing. Brilliant idea, brilliant, because that gives the player a brilliant excuse to look around the map. Um, maybe it'll be a little bit frustrating, but you know what? If you're a hardcore Rockstar fan and you're attached to Chop as much as, I, um, as, as, much as I'm going to be, I think you've, uh, that's a cool gameplay element. I think that's cool. A massive game of hide and seek in GTA 5 with Chop. Sounds awesome. Um, <laughs> but guys, thanks for watching today. Um, like I said at the start of the video, if you've got your ideas on what GTA 5 multiplayer is going to be all about when they release it later this month, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys later for another video. Take care. All right, guys, before I head off, i got to tell you guys about the Saints Row 4 gameplay exclusive that Machinima have on their channel. You should probably check it out if you're interested in seeing how it compares to GTA 5. I would suggest, also, if you're interested in big boobed black women and mechs it's probably up your street this video <laughs> so go check it out it's from machinima they've asked me to give you guys a little heads up and here it is so take it with a pinch of salt but if the community did do a good job of putting together the gta 5 map this is a scale of gta 4 laying on top of it which is amazing because gta 4 was a pretty big map you know there was no countryside or anything like that but it took a while to get from one side to the other so yeah, I think it's pretty impressive. If you're wondering how this was